Hello and welcome to another Geist Quick Tip. Oh, we're so good to you. In this video we're going to take a look at automation graphs and specifically how you can control them using MIDI controllers. There are two main options, a focused mode and a non-focused mode. I've opened up the automation lane here for my closed hi-hat in this pattern and I'm going to choose the course pitch graph purely because it's a good parameter to demonstrate automation on. Now if I go to the MIDI learn button you'll see here that a small green square has appeared and if we click on this and then turn my MIDI controller we can see that a mapping has been made in the mappings page. Now this mapping is bound very specifically to this engine, this pad and this lane and this parameter so it will only control the coarse pitch of the hi-hat here. Let me demonstrate. I'll take MIDI learn mode off Enable recording. And we can see there that the movement of the MIDI controller has been recorded as graph automation. Now that's great if you always want that MIDI controller to control that very specific parameter. But what if we're programming and we want something more general to work on whatever graph we've got open? In that case I would use this focus graph knob. Once again we'll enable MIDI learn, hit the focus graph knob, move the MIDI controller. Now in this mode the automation will only be recorded for the currently selected pad and graph. You'll see here that even though I've got the closed hat lane open it's actually this 808 pad that's currently selected so I need to make sure that my closed hat pad is selected. We can see in the main pattern that it's been highlighted. So I go to record, hit play Now you can see there that I was able to switch parameters whilst recording which changed the focus of the graph focus knob and that covers the two ways you can have MIDI control over automation graphs in FX Mansion's Geist.